Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tim, and this is another Real Ideal Gear Review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Bodery Urban Watch. This is a Chinese watch that you can get on AliExpress fairly cheap. Uh, the tantalizing features of this watch really are a high beat movement with a 72-hour power reserve. So this is a 28K movement, vibrations per hour, so it's a very smooth moving hand. Um, and it's also a 72 hour power reserve. What attracted me to this watch was certainly the skeletonized dial. You can see the pieces moving inside the dial. A lot of things going on inside there. Um, so if you want to take a look at you know, the inner workings of a watch, this is one of the watches that does that. Uh, even the back side where there's a display case back, you'll get to see the back side. There's a nice uh, blinged up rotor. It really looks, it's a nice looking watch. I think the overall finish of the watch is good. The display is great. Um, it has a good leather strap that goes with it. So from the finish perspective, this is a, a really good watch. It's a titanium case, so it's lightweight. Um, it, it tends to be durable. But what we're going to get into with this watch is we're going to show some of the durability. Um, it's a Chinese watch, so kind of wonder about the durability side of it. So we're going to do a time graph of the before and after and we're going to use this watch for some outdoor power tool use and you'll see that coming up here in a second so we're going to put it through the uh, test so we're going to be cutting down a tree we're going to see if this bowdery bowdery however you pronounce it urban watch will hang, hang uh, how it will handle vibration so we're going to be cutting wood this is one of the things that i do all the time i'm always cutting firewood living in montana we got to have the uh firewood for the winter time so even in the winter time I'm out cutting wood this tree is green but in a couple years it'll be perfect for being in the wood stove and heating up our house so we're gonna see how this watch handles power tool vibration a chainsaw is probably about the worst moderate impact a watch is gonna feel so we'll check that watch and and see how it does all right we've already got it on the time grapher so we'll check it after we've done some uh, sawing and see how it handles it. So in this experiment, really, we're going to take this Chinese movement watch, um, this Bodery watch, and we're going to run it through a, a power tool test. And so this is intended to give it some vibrations. Uh, let's see what it can do and uh, how well it holds up to accuracy. Accuracy is one of the things that I do uh, put it towards the top of my list when it comes to choosing a watch. This one was more about the looks of the watch than it was the perceived accuracy. I know that, that the uh, Chinese movement may not be the most reliable or the most durable movement, which is what this whole experiment is about. So we're going to see if this one actually holds up. As far as the fitment goes, it's a very comfortable watch. You know, it's a titanium case, leather strap. It's lightweight on the wrist. It's, the strap is easily adjustable, and I think there's plenty of holes there that, that to give people with different size wrists a, a fair shot at getting a, a watch that fits snugly to the wrist. The finish is good. Um, you know, the display case back is awesome. The display itself is, uh, the dial is really cool. That's that's one of the, the big features of this watch. Um, Push-pull crown, it does hand wind and hack, so that is nice. And it's fun to, to hand wind it. You can see that main spring start to tighten up. And that's just, again, part of the, the appeal of having a skeletonized dial. Very comfortable watch. Um, again, it's, it's just kind of an overall average sized watch. I would say average to above average wrist size would be what I would recommend for people. Um, the, the downsides to this watch um, is going to be the legibility of the watch. It's just hard to read the dial. Under these circumstances, you know, when you see a skeletonized dial, and the hands themselves are just not really well marked. The hour hand, the minute hand have a little white markers on the tip, and that's it. I wish they would have put some white marker on the hand all the way back to the stem. That would be that'd be wonderful, actually. I, I think you could see the time a lot easier. You have to search a little bit to see where those hands are on the dial, on the face of the dial, to see um, those hands. The second hand sweeps. You know, again, that's another one that has just a little bit of white on the end of the uh, the tip of the, the second hand. So you can find that because it moves. But other than that, it's fairly hard to see. The loom on this watch is poor. Within minutes, uh, the loom disappears. So it's it's actually pretty poor. Um, so overall, size is good. Fitment is good. Finish is good. I like the design of the, the watch. 
The bezel doesn't move, so just keep that in mind. Accuracy, it's okay. It did drop a little bit uh, from the beginning to the end. I would expect this watch to be kind of erratic that way. Overall, I'd give it a 5.5 to 6 out of 10. That wraps up this video. In the background, you'll have seen a knife that is a Tucson knife, and I try to match up the knife that I wear with the watch that I'm wearing as well. And you'll hear more about knives in future videos. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. I appreciate your time. And we'll see you next time. I need to stop. Okay, you good? <sighs> Remember like 10 second clips? Mm -hmm.